Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to scrap XML data using beautiful soup. So XML data is a different uh, type of format apart from HTML that is also be useful in uh, web scrapping. So some of the websites are having the data structured in the XML format. So we are going to cover uh, in this uh, video. So let's uh, import the modules now. So import modules. Now we have to import the modules that is beautiful soup and request from BS4 import beautiful soup and the second one is import request and this now we have to get the data from the URL so that will be get data from URL so URL is empty now so we are going to search uh, some URL in the internet and uh, we are going to place that URL for the XML file. And after that, uh, we are going to get it. So I'll say XML equals request dot get URL. So after that, uh, we, we can able to see the XML file. Now let's to go to the browser now let's go to the browser and search for an XML file URL. So I already uh, found a URL that is uh, in those thorn times RSS feed XML. Uh, this is the link if you go to it. So these are the XML files they have. You can able to go to any anything. I'll just uh, refresh this and I'll just go for this advertorial. So this is the XML uh, file. So XML file does not appear any style associated with it, but you can able to see it, right? So this is a XML file. Let's use the URL uh, to extract the information and uh, we will get some tags from it. So I'm going to get this uh, description tag. Let's see how it works. So similarly, we have multiple tags in HTML also. So the tags will be here uh, different. Uh, it won't be common and that can be user defined. So let's run this URL. Now let's get the page. Now XML dot content. So it's showing the HTML uh, file. Maybe uh, that website uh, blocked our uh, request. That's why it's showing like this. Maybe uh, let's get the XML content as it is uh, from some examples. So I'll just go back. XML file example. So here in the XML uh, examples, if I close this, so there are uh, so many XML files. So this is uh, one XML file. Maybe uh, we can able to use this uh, URL. Let's use it here. Maybe it will uh, give us access. Yeah, we have got our XML content. So we can able to use this URL. Now we have to parse it. So this is get the data. Now parse the data. So I'll say soup equals beautiful soup of I will say XML dot content comma. We have to change the parser here. So before that we will be using HTML dot parser because that is an HTML page. So here so this is an XML page. So for that, we will use the parser like this, X XML. Now let's display the content, print soup. Now we can able to see this is the XML tag and some HTML. Two is there, from is there, heading, and uh, this whole note is there. So here I'm going to get this heading tag. So this is the XML file. 
so the process will be uh, similar so i'm going to use soup okay we have to specify a new variable i will say xml tag equals soup dot find you have to specify the tag name so that will be heading now let's display the xml tag here run this see we have got our heading tag now let's display only the text xml tag dot text now we have got our text here now let's display this note uh, maybe we will just copy this just change the heading to note so the note contains these many uh, things so if you say xml uh, tag dot text so it contains all the things if you just print it it will be much more efficient see it just uh, displays in a line by line manner because of that new line so you can able to uh, find various tags using this uh, beautiful soup itself uh, the process is similar instead of uh, giving the html tag we are going to specify the xml tag by seeing the xml and you can able to easily get the text you want uh, if you go for some news websites means it may allow to get the xml file but in the last website it just blocked ours sometimes it may block your uh, request uh, you have to figure out what's happening uh, is, is uh, are we doing something wrong like that you have to uh, do some research on top of that to get the file access so after you got the file the process will be similar you can able to easily uh, get the corresponding tags and the text data of it i think that's it guys if the video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos Stay tuned for the next video.